Hi, I'm Miss Mickey, and today we have Danny. Hello. And Violet. Hi. Sophie. Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to do my favorite type of project. Not only are we going to use brushes, most importantly, we're going to use sponges. And you know what? That's so great because you can draw anything with sponges. It's quick, it's beautiful, and most importantly, it always looks great. This is a sponge painting project. We have some examples up here, right? We got some birds, we got some flowers. Birds, birds. Birds on a tree, yes, that's right. And bats. And bats. And apple. And an apple. But this is not what you're limited to. We can really draw anything you want, all right? Let's get some paints and get started. I want to draw. Cat and Cat. kittens on the tree. I would draw kitten with puppy. Excellent. For this project, you will need a paint set, sponge squares, paper or canvas, one flat medium length bristle brush, and paper or plastic plate for mixing the color. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna decide in which direction you're going to face your paper. If your pic picture is gonna be this way or it's gonna be the other way. And we're going to tape everything, okay? Apply masking tape around your canvas or paper to keep your project steady. First thing is we're gonna make the background, okay? This means that before we make any kind of picture, we need to make nice, beautiful background. We're gonna take a sponge, we're gonna wet it just a little bit, and we're gonna add some yellow color. We wanna test it first in the dish because we don't want too much, okay? And then we just add it. Use sponge to apply color to the background. Apply and blend several colors right on canvas. That's right. Press on it. Press on it. That's it. That's the first one. Okay? Now we can stop. So the second one that we're going to add here is a little bit of orange, right? We need a little bit of orange in here. Because that's the sun. <laughs> right? Go ahead. To create a dramatic look, work from dark color to light. Wait for the dark sheet to dry and add light color as the highlight. The paint is becoming very dense and we have very nice transition here. Now if we see any empty spots, we can just fill them in and we can mix them. See, mix them together. The thicker the paint laid, is laid, the paint becomes thicker. The thicker it is, the smoother the transition is, okay? I think we need a little bit of red, just a dab of red, okay? And now we definitely want to highlight the sun. Now you're going to have the same start. Just go cover the whole thing. Even if you make it too dark, it's not a bad thing. It's still, there's a way to make it lighter. It's okay. The more you draw, the better it gets, right? The more you add color, the more beautiful the blending be. Yours is gonna be different. There are two circles here. Yours is gonna be two flat lines. And you're going to use four colors. I'm gonna start making the grass. Okay, and we're gonna go like that. Very light. And we add a little bit of green, right? There we go. Actually, on that wave, you can start making clouds like that. Look, right there, look at that. You can get some clouds on your sun as well. 
fine lines and branches and leaves, we're going to do with a brush. The sponge is a little too thick, okay? So we're going to try to do it that way. Now you want your branch to go this way, right? Right. And then your kitties are going to be here, right? Use a brush to make the outline of your subject. Good. Oh, I love it. That's good. Good color. Very good color. <laughs> Very good color. Excellent. Now, what are your cats doing? They're sitting. This is a cat mm -hmm. and this is a dog. Okay. This is a cat and a dog. Maybe we can add a little piece of wood here, okay? Like a, like a stump, like a tree stump. So, we're going to add a little tree stump here. Tree stump goes like that. All right? So, it goes out. This is what they're gonna sit on, okay? Okay. Now, this is gonna be a cat, right? Yes. Okay, this is gonna be your cat here. And there's a tail right there. And this is gonna be your dog. Yes. A little bigger with the big ears, right? Fluffy ears, okay? Mm. Okay. Like this. Do it, okay? But they're gonna sit on a tree, tr tree trunk. Case, I would recommend using um, sponges because you see in in this case we have very small cats right yes. um, and in your case you have very big cats and dogs so we actually can sponges to the rescue right yes. um, we get a sponge with a nice sharp edge right so we want the sharp edge right there so that we can use that to get the nice smooth shape okay so we're gonna dip now, your cat, you said, is an orange cat, okay? Or a red cat, as we were told, okay? And so we're gonna... It's a kitten and puppy. Okay, it's a kitten and a puppy, here we go. So, here we go. What we're doing here is we're adding fur, right? Because cats and dogs have fur. And just by tapping, what we're doing is, okay? We're just tapping, okay? Go for it. Use the edge of the sponge and random tapping to create fur. Look at this. Very lightly, like that. Right? Very lightly, just the edge so it's fuzzy. Look at that. Right? Okay. Now, we are almost done. We really are. We're just going to add a few final touches, okay? Um, and you know what? I'm going to start with you. We're just going to add a few little leaves like that, and the leaves, they go from the inside out, right? Because the leaves, they grow from the branch out, right? Like that. There we go. And they're round. There we go. Round leaves. Beautiful round leaves. Okay. There we go. Just add a few small touches. Perfect. Looks good. There we go. All right. Keep going. You're almost done. It's almost perfect. It's and almost there. This works yes. color. That's right. I almost forgot. Oh my goodness. We're going to fix it right now. I forgot because this is the stump, right? See how we're fixing the mistake right there? There was a little mistake and we immediately fixed it. Now, because this is a stump, we're going to add a few lines, right? Just like that. Like a stump has a few lines, right? It's a tree. Yeah. There we go. And here. Mm -hmm. Just a little brown. bit more here. A little bit more here and a little bit of the green. Brown, brown. Here we go, brown. Okay. Hold on. Just like that. There we go. Perfect. Uh -huh. Very good. And a little bit of the green. There we go. Because that is the direction, right? Those are th that's the direction where it's going. There we go. Okay. And, and now I to fix it. Just like that. Perfect. Nice blending technique, right? Layer on several colors to get a texture. One thing I see that we really need to fix immediately. Whiskers. Okay, go for it. Okay, perfect. Oh, we're missing whiskers again. It's missing whiskers day. Everybody's missing whiskers. 
Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush. Good. Um, I see that we have a little area right here that's a little hard, so we're gonna try to blend it in as well. Okay, we're gonna blend it in a little bit and add a little bit of the white as well. There we go, perfect. So we have a little fuzz on the head, right? It's furry. Um, just in case you're wondering, um, these cats and a dog, they're all facing. They're all facing to look at the sunset. That's why what we're looking at is the backs, okay? Okay, very good. And we're gonna add some whiskers, okay? Okay. Use a thin brush to paint on flowers or other small details. The tree branch that we see here, it has many, many colors. The reason it has many colors is so that it gives you a definition and it looks more 3D, so it's not perfectly flat. And so what we have here is you have a little bit of the red and a little bit of the brown and a little bit of the green and all of these things together, they make this picture very lifelike, right? Okay, I think I would just blend them in a little bit, okay? Just blend them in like that. So it's not as hard. So there's smooth transition, okay? Very gently. You guys, the secret of really fantastic sponging is really tapping so lightly, really just incredibly lightly and just enjoying that beautiful pattern, that beautiful pattern of the sponge because that's what sponging is about. It's not just poking, it's really just tapping and enjoying how the color spreads on the page, all right? Good, looks very good. Here you go. Okay. I just need to add a few flowers in here, all right? Because it's a field, right? It's a field with flowers. The more details we add, the more lifelike this becomes. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, 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 please. <laughs> go for it. All right? Good. Very, very good. And just a little bit of the yellow. Just like that. Just little tests. We're just putting dots. That's all we're doing. We're just putting little dots everywhere. Okay? Wonderful. Much better. Perfect. Excellent, you guys. Very good. I'm going to ask you to lift up your work. Your project is complete. Gently remove the masking tape and get a nice even edge around your canvas. Like that. What does cloud look like? This cloud looks like an elephant. This cloud looks like a snowman, right? Uh -huh. There we go, you guys. There we go. Perfect. Look at that, you guys. Looks good. Very good, all right? You guys, let's put them up here. There we go. Looks good, good job, you guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. technique and it's based for all of your future arts and crafts or drawing or painting especially when you don't have any time or you just want to have fun look at this there are no mistakes there really aren't and you can't go wrong anything you do it comes out fantastic just use pure color and one thing to remember always tap gently miss Nikki was here see you later
the TV. Subscribe.